so flat and rectangular and in this tiny confined space and virtual reality was coming and I just said, no, it's time to start doing some hardcore research and get this done right and get it done by creators and YouTubers instead of leaving it for people who don't really know how to create content or what content is to decide what virtual reality video is going to be. It's us, it's all of us who are going to decide what virtual reality video is going to be and we're going to do it by starting to learn how to make it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if anyone's wondering why I haven't posted very much in the last couple of years, I'm that. Um, so, we are here. Um, our research group is lucky enough to be supported by some very generous funding and stuff by SAP and Viewpoints Research Institute. And we are also happy today to have some special guests from Google Cardboard and Rico Theta. And together we're going to be doing some fun stuff. We're going to be creating some virtual reality video and just kind of going over what that is. So with that being said, uh, let's start with Andrea Hoxley, um, who is going to tell us what spherical video is and stuff. And maybe I will pass this to you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Andrea Hoxley, and we're going to start off by just generally what spherical video is, because not everyone has seen it. So, actually, how many of you have seen spherical video? Yeah. I guess we self-selected for this concert. <laughs> <laughs> but as you're probably aware, most video today is filmed on these awesome flat rectangles like this. It's a rectangle. We just sort of took the world and we cropped it, and this is a historical relic. When people first started making video and film, they couldn't capture the whole world, so they settled for capturing part of it, and they captured this little rectangle, and we've just kept this through like 100 years, even though now we really are capable of capturing the whole world, and the idea of video was to capture a moment in time and share it with someone else. So, the spherical video lets us capture that whole thing and not just a tiny rectangular crop, and... Um, oh, we can yeah. see. Can I, can I steal your seat? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a better that's idea. Um, oh, it's in Dvorak. <laughs> 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 okay, I fixed it. It's no longer in Dvorak. This is the same video, and I'll start playing it. P is somewhere around there. Yeah. Um, over here, so you can see, but before we were looking at this tiny crop of the scene in that rectangle, which was basically just the three of us sitting there. And what you didn't know is that like, we're kind of in a fern forest right now, if you look straight up. And if you turned around, you could see a little more of the scene. And in this video, actually, we're trying to relax. So in a moment, everyone is going to lie down, and you're supposed to lie down with them. So that's what the video looks like, or should look like, if we've been capturing the whole scene, as opposed to just the little rectangular crop that you saw earlier, like over here. And so now I'm going to talk about how can we view spherical video, because one of the problems with spherical video is, well, even if you had it, if you go and just like load it into most of your usual video players, it's going to look like a weird distorted thing and you're not going to be able to look around. So, right now there's a lot of options. Probably the easiest option is a phone. How many people are carrying a smartphone around in their pockets right now? Yes. Well, mine's over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can load up a spherical video and there's a few apps that will let you do it on your phone. And if you have a Google Cardboard, you can load it up on your phone, put it on your head and look around. How many people have Google Cardboard? That's impressive. If you don't have a Google Cardboard, we are actually going to be giving away Google Cardboards at the end of this workshop. So, so you will be able to view the videos that you create in VR, assuming you were one of the people who had one of these um, after the talk. Um, there are also other phone headsets you can use that maybe have better lenses or are a little bit fancier than the $5 version. Um, like, this is the Wearality lenses, which we like because they have a huge field of view. Um, the other obvious way that you would view spherical video is on your computer, like we were just viewing earlier. Um, 
and 